Did you call bank? I call bank. What's up, Pack Nation? It is Pack here, and today is just a quick little video I wanted to make about the trade that you have not heard about. It is the trade that happened today, the pretty big trade that I feel like people are taking kind of for granted. It is the Mike Conley trade that was traded to the Utah Jazz. We'll talk about that in this video just quickly. Before this video starts, be an OG, join the Pack Nation, and subscribe. Let's get this video started. So, the Utah Jazz trade for Mike Conley, and in return, the Grizzlies get something that we'll talk about in a second. Mike Conley is a 87 overall that is now on the Utah Jazz, tied with the second best player on the team with Donovan Mitchell. Rudy Gobert is still considered the best player on the team. Now, after this coming season, we'll see if that's still the case. Maybe Mike Conley will end up being the best player on the team. Maybe Donovan Mitchell will step up even more. We'll see. But this is a very important pickup for the Utah Jazz. What I want to mention quickly is that the Utah Jazz have the potential to be contenders this season now with Mike Conley. Here's the thing, this season is wide open. The Warriors might lose Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson is going to be injured, and so Steph isn't going to have a lot to work with this season. The Lakers now have Anthony Davis. I feel like a lot of teams in the NBA now have the chance to win the championship next season, and it's going to be one of the most competitive seasons, I think, in a long time. Mike Conley puts the Jazz in that kind of situation as well. They could totally win the championship next season. It'd be hard, but they could totally do it. Mike Conley is one of the most professional players in the NBA, does really good every single season. This is a great pickup for the Utah Jazz. Of course, he would be a starter, starting point guard with Donovan Mitchell at shooting guard, Joe Ingles small forward. Derek Flavors at 81 and Rudy Gobert at 89. This is going to be one of the only teams in the NBA now that has almost an 80 overall for every single position on their team. The only one is Joe Ingles, who has been an 80 overall before, so that's a good sign for the Jazz. In return, the Grizzlies get to go in rebuild mode, essentially. They knew that they're going to have to rebuild. They're going to get their first round pick with John Morant as the new point guard for the team, so that's what their plan was anyways. They have Jonas Valanciunas, who is honestly pretty solid. He did really good with them this season for the amount of games he played. Jaron Jackson Jr. is good for them too. DeLon Wright was solid. Jay Crowder is a good defender. So is Avery Bradley. But they pick up Jay Crowder, 76 overall. Kyle Korver, who was probably not going to stay, 74 overall. And also their worst player now, Grayson Allen, a 71 overall. But he's 22 years old. We've seen how Grayson Allen can be kind of okay. So this might work out for them. They're just taking a gamble. They just wanted to remove Mike Conley so that they could have John Moran as a starting point guard. The only one that's expected to get minutes as a starter is Jay Crowder, and that's like it as a sixth man. But what do you guys think about this trade? I think the Mike Conley going to the Jazz is a great picker for them. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like my channel, give it a sub. And I'll see you guys next time. Did you call bank?